Hey, hey, good morning, guys. How's it going? Uh, gonna do a little, uh, hopefully, hopefully this little hive here on the end. I was just out here a minute ago throwing salt all up under these hives. You can see the salt down there. Uh, throwing salt all around this thing. I didn't want to get too much around my Brazilian pepper. I think it can take a lot of salt, but I didn't want to get too much under that thing, but around these stands here. But this guy right here, I was throwing salt around it. They did not like me, buddy. Oh, yeah, they're ready to rock and roll on old Steve-O. Yeah, we're going to get into this hive right here because, I don't know, on 529, I had a queen right, and, and I wanna, I'm, I've got a hunch this thing, I put a feeder jar on it the other day, and it looked like it was packed out with bees, so we better do something with that before we lose it to a swarm. Uh, my old antique smoker here. Boy, this thing's been through some wars, guys. I've had this thing since, I don't know. I think early 80s I bought this thing. I'm on my second set of bellows. And uh, it finally quit. It quit pumping air. I mean, the, the bellows felt good. So what I did, first of all, First of all, I took the bellows off. You've got to take these these four bolts, these four nuts off. Pull your pull your bellows off, and then right back here you've got a hole. That hole right there is the pusher hole. There's one up under here. It's the suction, and that's push. So there's two flap doors in there. So when you push this way. When you push this way, that door flops shut this one opens and it shoots air through that tube but it wouldn't it wasn't pumping so i took the bellows off and i took a quarter inch carriage bolt about four inches long and i could barely shove it through that hole that hole's about a quarter inch in there i could barely shove it in that thing was so carboned up it was crazy i had this much of carbon dust in the bottom of this thing up over this tube so to get that to get that plate out of there get the sunlight in there if we can get it that that plate down in there what you do is take a pair of long needle nose like this and go down in and get in them holes and grab it and you can pull it out then you can take your that same tool and root around in there and get that carbon out of there because it will build up that carbon was probably oh man it was a good uh it was a good inch deep in there so it was actually plugging and hindering the the uh, the smoker so anyway i got that cleaned out and uh, we'll get this baby back in operation i haven't used this thing in a couple years for the simple fact it uh it, was, it plugged up and I had my other one. I had a brand new one sitting on the sitting on the uh, shelf. So I pulled it. I've been using that smaller one. But this is my old standby. If you're working a lot of bees, this is the way to go because you can load this thing up with pine needles and you can go for a long time smoking. All right, let me get uh, saddled up here and uh, we'll get into this hive over here. Get the smoker lit. We'll get into this hive and... Uh, See if we can switch it over to A-frame equipment. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. Old, old Bessie here is back running. So remember that. You, she's not working. Check that hole there. And check how much carbon you got. Pull that plate out of there with these long needle nose. Get your pair of these. Pull that grate out of there. Here's something we have in Florida, guys. That's a real pain in the butt right here. These are called fire ants. Okay. If you ever get in a situation where you've got somebody, you know, you know, like uh, 
like some Democrat you want to get some information out of, you know, you, you, they're not telling you the truth, see. They're not, they're lying to you and they're not telling you the truth. So the, these guys right here will be the answer to your, to the situation. Instead of waterboarding them, uh, what you do is you strip them down and put their bare hiney right here. But tell them first what's going to happen. Tell them it's going to be extremely painful. And you want the answers. And if you don't get the answers, their hiney is going in this nest here. Okay? That's a little tip from Steve-O. You know, if you're not getting the right answers, that's how to get them. That's how to get your right answers. Okay, guys. I don't know if that's legal or not. You probably can't. I probably can't get away with that. You know. It's just a thought, guys. Don't don't take me too serious on that, okay? All right, what are these guys got in here? They, I don't know. There's a little medium frame loaded up pretty heavy. We're in the rainy season now, guys. I'll tell you what, it's we're getting slammed every day now. We're getting hit every day. And uh She's laying good in here. I don't know how. There she is right there. You can see her, guys. I'll tell you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this, I'm going to put this colony in eight, eight frame stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Okay. Got our eight frame, or eight frame box here. Let's get these guys transferred over. Yeah, my queen had to come down in here. Yeah, she just had to come down in here.
ain't knocking them in. Yeah, that first knock I did, and she went in. She's down in there, guys. So that's good. Alright, I'll get some more frames and fill this thing out. Okay, guys. Put this one over. Change that over to uh, 8 frame. That's about all I could do in here. I look back in there. They've got a long way to go yet. You know, we stole eggs there the other day. Brood eggs. And I hauled that, that nuke over to the other yard. That's all splitting I'm going to do till we get into July. New moon in July, so... That's where we're at right now. Sweet almond is getting sweet here. She's putting out a lot of, getting ready to put out a lot of bloom. Yeah, this plant is nice. Didn't have many when I put it in the ground a week ago. But it gets a ton of white flowers on it. Year-round blooming. I don't know if you guys in Australia can grow this or not. It's called sweet almond. And it's just a good honey plant. Nectar plant for your bees. Uh, old Steve-O's pineapple coming along here. I've only got one. No, here's another one. Got an invasive vine in here. There's one in there happening. Look at it. It's got some purple little blooms on it but this dude right here now just as you see it start to, to yellow a little bit that's when you want to pick them you save your tops that's where I got all these you just save your tops you strip down about five or six leaves on the bottom leave yourself about a half inch nub or so lay it inside an air conditioner and uh, let it kind of callous over for a few days and then you put it in the dirt. They're, they're a no-brainer, really. No-brainer. Uh, cassava's going along there pretty good. That's some tall things there. South American uh, starchy potato-looking thing. So that's it for now, guys. I will uh, catch you on the next one. Make them bees and be happy. And get your smoker cleaned out. I got my old my old pots working again. Boy, she putting out some good smoke now. When I first fired that thing up, man, it was like a locomotive. She's doing real good. That's an old smoker. You take care of them. Most guys run over them with their trucks. They put them down. They forget where they're at, and they back over it with their truck. Yeah. That pretty well uh, shuts that job down. All right, guys. Be happy. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.